Okay, everybody, today we're going to be giving the Kenmore bagless canister a very good test on all of this dirt. Look at this. Look at that. It's all cat litter, as you'd probably expect from my house now. So we're just going to grab the Kenmore power head and we're just going to clean up all this dirt. Bin cam is running. Oh, that's high. Medium. There we go. Look at this. Let me turn my flash on. Look at that. You can see visible adjust the camera visible agitation on the carpet look at this let's go to the rug come on vacuum get over here there we go we're going to adjust the setting to low Goes pretty flat, I will say. Not the greatest edge cleaning, but it's good enough. All right, all right, adjusting my stabilizer. Make sure I can get the correct recording angle. Can we squeeze this in between here? Sort of. If we push it like that, it can almost fit, but not quite. Unfortunately, I'll have to go back over with the dice and So you can see on bin cam how I stopped moving the head and the dirt stops. And as soon as I move the head, you can see through the clear window. I'm looking at bin cam right now. Check for any visible agitation. I don't see any. This canister vac actually follows relatively well. And try and keep the cleaner head in the left hand side of the screen so left hand side of the view so there's room in the bottom right for the window on bin cam when i edit because bin cam is awesome <laughs> let's move over to this low pile carpet seems like even without adjusting the cleaner head it goes right onto this carpet pretty easily, honestly. So let's make our way over here. See some of the collection.
So the brush roll does continue to spin even when the machine is upright, so you will have to take note of that. Yeah, listen to that, there's still dirt. I'm going to move this cat tree back. All right, now we can clean this area of carpet. Let's move the cord like this, decline. the back of this behind us. Look at those groom lines. Those are pretty impressive, I must say. Alright, making sure the vacuum follows. Yes, it did. I've had some canister vacuums in the past that just crash into walls. They don't follow you like they should. Oops. This one seems to do a honestly pretty good job. It's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job, especially for how expensive it is. It actually outperforms maneuverability wise. The ones with big wheels, though people complain about having big wheels, like the ones on the Kenmore, uh, the big wheels keep it going straight. Casters just mean it just flips all the way to the side. And I'm going to clean those tile floors as well. Okay, we're back in the final room. Let's clean. I have to say, if you have wood floors, I would definitely recommend looking into a, um, a hard floor tool because, okay, one second. There we go. All right. I definitely recommend looking into a hard floor tool because this is not the best for hard floors. I mean, it does the job, but it's not ideal for hard floors. There are better hard floor tools. And usually a hard floor tool is a relatively inexpensive thing to get for your vacuum. Let's clean the bathroom floor. See if there's any dirt or hair on the floor. There's something there. Could have been a piece of tracked in kitty litter. Put in here. I 
idea what that could be. Oh, it's rubber on the sides of the cleaner head. Okay, now I know. So it's got good bumpers. Sounds like the pitch of the suction motor in the unit here changes a little bit. A little bit when you turn on the power head. Maybe that's to keep the power down, I don't know. But it says 12 amps. You can probably read that right there. But it says 12 amps right there. I'm gonna be definitely checking the brush roll after this. But look at those groom lines, it's doing a good job. As you can tell, I mean, look at that. Let's see if it gets anything. Like I said, you can hear the dirt in front of this door. really interested to see what this Kenmore has captured in its bin. Ooh. You can hear all the crumbs and dirt. I have to say, this Kenmore is an extremely good value because there's canisters made by, say, like Mila, where the vacuum doesn't even come with a power head at all, and it costs 400 bucks. So the fact that you're getting a power head on a vacuum of this price. Whoops. Pretty impressive. And there goes bin cam. Well, there's so little time left, I'm just gonna turn bin cam off. The video is almost done anyways. So bin cam is off now. Here, there's definitely stuff going into the dirt bin. Don't think it's going to fit through here. Yeah, no way. Yeah, the headlight, I mean, it provides some light, but not much. Go open this door and vacuum right through here. I think I vacuumed here, but I might as well do it again since it's a high traffic area. All right, that's everything cleaned. I will be right back and we're going to check the results and see how much dirt the Kenmore has picked up. Stay tuned. Okay, everybody, we are finished with the Kenmore bagless canister vacuum. Let's see 
what's in the bin and uh, check it out. Oh my goodness. So yeah, look at this. The bin is completely filled with hair. Look at the hair. That is unbelievable. That is amazing. I need to move this hose and clean our head over here. Make sure it doesn't fall. Okay, now we can get a better view of the bin. Wow. Impressive, very impressive. All right, let's check what's inside the bin. I mean, inside the filter. Again, just a little bit of hair, the tops of the cyclones. I don't really see much fine dust buildup. There's a little bit, as you can see where I put my finger right there, but not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's check the condition of the brush roll. See if it's tangled up or if it's still relatively clean. So as you can see, yeah. still yeah it definitely should be cleaned it's got a decent bit of hair on it if you want a canister vacuum and you have a lot of pets there's also the Bissell pet hair eraser canister I believe is what it is and that would be a good option but I doubt it has as much agitation as this Kenmore and it's only single cyclonic so I guess it's up to you to make the choice of is it worth the extra, uh, what did I say? Worth the tangle free versus this vacuum. But, anyways, I am thoroughly impressed with this Kenmore. It has done an excellent job. And as you can see by what's in that bin, Yeah, there's a lot of dirt. So, uh, yes, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video with the Kenmore bagless canister vacuum, and I will see you all in the next one.